how do I even try to start this? I mean, I don't know. There's no justification for this. Do I? Just say who I am? Do I find some bird pun? Do I just do this? Way to bag yourself in a hole here, gosh. Oh! I'm Laura Tekkett. And... This is Hot Full Boyfriend. There's... No other way to... Introduce this. I mean, yeah. Welcome. Hi. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. Okay, name. What name should I? Ah, uh, whatever. I'm gonna be lazy. Don't even remember the first name. Yoko Tosaka. Yeah, sure, why not? I'm Hyako. Or whatever. Huttleful Boyfriend includes a powerful visualization module, allowing even the brightest of birds to appear as normal humans when first introduced. Display human portraits. Yeah, sure, why not? Configuration saved. Let's see what kind of... I get my... Whatever I get myself into. Say, Pidgeot Nations. A school blessed with extensive curricular and facilities. It's already been a year since I ended my ordinary life and walked through these gates. I should probably say this school is known for one thing in particular. The school is Japan's, no, the world's greatest gathering place for gifted birds. Birds who want to study the arts, the sciences, even sports, all come to St. Pidgeot Nations. The teaching staff and student body are both made up of a diverse blend of birds of different backgrounds and species. I'm often asked why I chose to, to come here, despite not being a bird. It's a long story. Not every day I see you rushing along like this. Ryota, I think. Usually you've been ready for an hour by now, Yoko. No vision yet. This rock dove is named... Kal... Kawaya... Kawawawa... Ryota. We've been friends since he barely hatched. Okay then. He can be a little mischievous, but he's, respo but he's responsible and kind. Gosh. Breakfast was a little hard to catch today. I can't relax with the red meat inside. Living as a hunter-gatherer sounds tough. I'd be happy to make you breakfast, you know. I might take you. I might take that. I might take you up on that offer when starvation looms. Thanks, Ryota. Oh, the bell already. Come on, you need to hurry to class. Jeepers, no good being late on the first day. And so Ryota pulled me along into the school. Today is the start of a new semester. I wonder what lies in store. It was all I could do to just the atmosphere last year. Better make up for all that lost fun. First time. The most splendid and greatest academy of pigeon. By the pigeon and for the pigeon. I love the birds. I think we're in 2 3. Ryota and I are in the same class again. Old faces, new faces. 
strange thrill for my heart as I look around at the semblance of birds. I hope we all get along. Here's to the formation of many happy memories. Oh, the teacher's here. Good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm Nanaki Kazuki. Kazuki. I'm your teacher, I can't remember my name. I seem to be your teacher this year. Well, okay, we're right ahead. I specialize in math and physics. And also some other things. I can't remember. I can't remember what I gave him. Wow, this is gonna be a uh, disaster. Here we go. It's a meal. He sleeps with his eyes open. This quail is Nanaki Kazuaki. He's a famously sophoric math professor. I heard the rumors, but I hadn't expected him to fall asleep just like that. Apparently he's well known as a mathematician. Just goes to show how great minds come in all forms. And how boring math is. To me. And a lot of the internet. I really need to remember. Bitch, I'm sorry. No, no warm here. Which reminds me. We have a transfer student. Please introduce yourself, Shirogani. What is the point? I have no wish to speak with commoners. Do not think I'm here because I wish to be. No, oh, well, I guess that's it. Hey, hey, hey. I once again forgot his accent. Jeez. Uh, hey, 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 that's no good. Uh, but he doesn't want to introduce himself. But we can't just let him break the rules like that, sir. The system will collapse and we'll all turn into cool and Sin centers? What? Big words. <laughs> well, when you put it like that, could you at least see your name, Shirogani? <sighs> Shirogani la bello sakuya. It seems this fantail is Shirogani Saki Sakuya. I had to choose this game to play. Jeez. His feathers would make any birdie proud. Any birdie? Some birdie? Every birdie? Jeez. Gotta go with the birdies. He's pretty stuck up, but then transferring is never easy. I hope we can be friends. No, I don't. Sequoia so sits down, glaring daggers at Ryota and me. I think this little bird is telling me there's going to be trouble down the line. How about I glare my dagger straight into it? <laughs> Lunch already! Today is slipping by so quickly. That reminds me! I've had these books out from the library all summer. I'll attend them now. Where is everyone? Aside from the receptionist, there's hardly any birdie here. Huh? Somewhat. Don't you mean some birdie looking at me? Probably just my imagination. Or not. The morning dove stands in a dark corner, staring in my direction. Morning doves aren't very common in Japan, but apparently they're everywhere in America. America! Um. Uh, do you want something from me? <laughs> he looked away. Not really. Oh. Not really. I'm pretty sure it was him who I felt looking at me. There's no one else here. Are you sure? Yes. I don't want anything with you. Okay, that's me. It's 
the things that you're carrying that I'm interested in. She glances at the desk as if to say, hurry up and return them already. Oh, sorry. <laughs> they were a little too... They were a little too dense and I never finished them. Were you waiting for them all summer? He silently returns his gaze to his books. Maybe he's in a bad mood? I'm Tosaki Hiriko, a sophomore. What do you want? Oh, what do you want? Jeez, Reed, what about you? You're... Nagaki. Fujishiro Nagaki. Freshman. Fujishiro Nagaki, huh? Morning doves are pretty rare in Japan. <laughs> Maybe it's just his voice, but he seems kind of sad. Aha! Yeah, my voice. Leave me alone. Okay, bye. He's reading this book again. Okay, sorry to bother you. I keep meaning to press some people today. Now that I have that out of my way, I think I head back to class. Wait, isn't that... You should have been instructed not to approach me in school. Come on, Sakuya. What kind of thing is that to say to your own brother? After all these years... My brother, you must be joking. You've never once been a brother to me. Ooh. It'd be a dick. Please, don't try to talk to me again. I have no time for half-breeds. I'll be going now. Hey. It's just a... I guess you're in the same school now, but it's done. I hadn't meant to eavesdrop, but I think I just overheard something juicy. <laughs> and I can't seem to get action, a action, accents straight, nor can I speak, or read, or do anything. I'm perfect for the internet. And I guess before I screw this up even more and continue with my terrible reading and rambling on, I might as well end this here. I guess. I don't know. I'm still working on this. So I... See you all in the next episode. Take care. Be happy. Don't get shanked. Bye.